What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It is I, your boy, some Joe Schmo here with another psych reaction. And guys, I feel like the universe is calling to me when I watch this show sometimes because we have made it to season five, episode number 10, Extradition 2, the actual extradition part. And maybe it was because at the beginning of this season, I was reminded about a couple of different reoccurring characters. I've been really talking about reoccurring characters, how some of them haven't really been here as many times. We haven't seen a few of them. Um, you know, we got Gina coming back. Obviously, we had Mr. Yang coming back. But now we have Carrie Ellis in the return of Pierre Des Despero Des Des Desperado. <laughs> Um, man, I had such a good time with his character. I believe it was, what, episode number one, season four? Um, and again, this, uh, reoccurring theme throughout this past season, uh, even I would say throughout, like, a lot of, like, season, uh, four into season five has been a lot about Sean's rivals, how it's testing Sean, and where we continue to see these little character developments with Sean and how he's able to overcome some of these rivals. So, with... Uh, 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 Pierre, you know, we did have him uh, at the end of uh, uh, the extradition, the part one, obviously, uh, confront Pierre on the boat, uh, or was it the fly boat, the boat boat that lands on water, the fly, the, <laughs> the fly boat, <laughs> the plane boat, there we go, we got there eventually, um, so we saw him eventually get there, but then, ha as it was kind of implied, you know, Pierre, like, I, I want to uh, 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 say that I remember it, where he basically insinuated, like, prison, the greatest, like, Greatest thing to do, greatest uh, uh, milestone to overcome, greatest like puzzle, I guess, would be to get out of prison. But a um, little bit of a cat like thief, my man. Uh, and was one of the first introduction of like a nemesis um, that I remember that really stood out for me. You know, obviously he's, he's faced off a couple of them, but uh, uh, someone that I was really a recognizable character. And I want to say around the season four mark was when we start seeing some really good bangers of, uh, of cameo. So really, what more could be said about Pierre, do what more can be said about the great extradition? Uh, we're gonna stop talking, guys. We're gonna get into this episode. If you're new to the channel, though. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below. We do psych reactions here, guys, every single Wednesday and Saturday. And really, what more can be said? We are going to be jumping into this here episode with the return of Pierre Desperado. Let's see. And yeah, we left off with that tantalizing end, too, with the. Uh, Juliet kissing Sean, so let's see how this whole First class thing works out. And three nights hotel paid for by a world class criminal. Wait, so he's he sent him uh, an invitation for him to visit. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> like that's the first, that, that that maybe shows a lot of respect then to Sean that he was like, hey, I wanna I want you to come out here and visit me, huh? Out this time, huh? Hey, we finally at Henry's house. I feel like it's been so long. Oh, come on, Sean. I overheard the whole conversation with Gus about Juliet going off on this trip with Declan Rand and how you're going to try to wow her and tell her how much you care about her before she gets too sick. Aww, pops. I shared that with Gus in the men's room at the Red Robin. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> Dude, this one episode, it's funny how many memories I'm having of like previous episodes just from the first like two minutes of this one. Red Robin, Pierre, Henry's house. Tell her. Aww. Tell her now. Tell her five minutes from now. She goes off to Italy with a guy who's rich, who's crazy about her, and coming back with any oh. doubts. Wow, the fatherly yeah. advice. Holy we sh... never have this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. He's like, I thought we were good just being like, distant father and son. Why you gotta give me such good fatherly advice now, huh? Well, I, I can take a message. No, it's, it's not really the kind of thing you put in message for. Well, I'm a great listener. It's a little weird, creepy. Necessary, perhaps. You see, the thing is, I, I, I want to tell her that I like her. I kind of suspected. Oh, he's like, yeah, you, you gawk over her all the time, you know. What I've realized is that I don't want to wait anymore. I can't wait. Not with this kind of stuff. Oh, you know. Holy crap, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> wait, did you write that? Yeah, write it down. Like, yeah, this is some great stuff. I should write that down too. That's Chief Vic. Did oh. <laughs> Fully dodged. Oh no, that's gonna come back into play, isn't it? Oh, she asked me to get her passport updated. She needed it today. She already left. So you're saying there's a chance, yo? If that if that note comes back to uh, <laughs> comes back to Chief, dude, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, we're back in Canada, boys. I accidentally turned McNabb and my father into confidants. 
It's a weird day. First part of this episode is like really showing me that sometimes bros just, we need to talk it out with other bros, man. You know, I, I wish, I, I have a few confidants of, of myself, like Sean probably de, uh, does, talking to Gus, his father overhearing him in the bathroom, Red Robin, talking to uh, 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 McNabb. But like, guys, yo, talk it out with your boys, man. It ain't it ain't dumb. It ain't uh, stupid to show your emotions, man. Really just be vulnerable with the people that you know you can be vulnerable with. Like me. I want to hear that juice. What you guys got, huh? What you guys got? Who, uh, uh, the Comment down below your, your b biggest crush. What you want to tell them? Oh, oh he's still in jail. Okay, cool. I thought he was like out and he was <laughs> just like, come and get me, guys. Hey, the mustache man. But prison, I liken it to a mid-range sandals resort. Yeah. <laughs> My man Carrie, dude. But I've had a bit of a... A realization. Okay. And I have some things I need to tell you face to face. Well, you want to do good for the world now? You want to switch sides? I've always been to commit the perfect crime. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I've always thought of my heist as elegant, victimless. Okay. It made me feel somehow regretful. Uh, you genuinely wanted me to be the greatest thief that ever lived. You know that's right. <laughs> it's like, why are you encouraging him? Let's say I feel a little bad for him. Why? This reputation of being able to get in and out of anything. I mean, what does it care what I think? He was exposed for what he was, that's all. Gus, don't be both Ashley Simpson now. There were three actresses <laughs> My pieces, pieces. Dude, you guys, I had the gnarliest crush on Ashley Simpson, dude, when she came out. Oh, man. But, like, I, there was this girl I used to be really obsessed with back in the day. I used to work at Anchor Blue back in... Miller's Outpost for those of you guys uh, uh, throwing it way back. But we used to work together. We used to have lunch together. She used to come back into the fitting room. Okay, but I, you, you get it though, right? Looked a lot like Ashley Simpson. Kind of had a little obsession with Ashley Simpson after the fact. And then she did a little hoedown on stage at SNL and that kind of was the end of her career. But well, I think that went well. Woo! What the hell is this man? He did it. You son of a bitch, you did it. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. Sean had nothing to do Carrie Ellis, dude. To make my escape work. Dude, that mustache gets thicker. His brain gets bigger. I'll turn this car around right now. Wow. If I were you, Holy I have this shit. small, somewhat impressive shiv that I learned to make from one of 30 prisoners named Gord. Gord? Like Dr. Gordon from Saw? <laughs> hey. Oh, would you be so good as to take this road toward the top of the mountains? This first one here. Yeah. <laughs> Just asking again, just for verification, man. What a gentleman. He, what, this is the nicest rubber. Are <gasps> nice they coming back to it? Yeah, my oh, man. No, no. <laughs> yeah, the officer that helped him. I totally remember this dude. Technically, yeah. you got yourself fired. By doing what you asked. But then, yeah, we got you. Yeah. your job back at the lowest possible level. It still counts, yeah. Whatever works. Dude. Close enough for rock and roll, right? That's what we say in the music industry. I have sense that Pierre Despereau going to escape uh, and or he may have already escaped i love that he's like lying about it because he was responsible well not responsible but was part of it well all of the prisoners uh, are accounted for what what the? no no they do a rough numbers count a rough number <laughs> they just like eyeballing it like yeah it looks about uh 40-ish we have a reported art theft in a private home in Shaughnessy. well 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 look what we got here huh macintosh parties fundraisers Oh, everybody does. It's Crown Prosecutor John Santee. Oh, prosecutor, huh? Including Mr. Despero. Uh, that was yeah. a Van Gogh of some sort. This was a Ming Vaugh's beautiful piece. And Van Gogh? You mean Van Gogh. I think he knows art, come oh, man. I was born of this. Despero certainly proved his point. His work is so clean, so effective. Sure, obviously we have to catch him. Let's get it. Dude, I never understood people that left a calling card for like their work. You would think if you want to be like the greatest thief, wouldn't you leave nothing behind? Oh, hell, and now he's a murderer. So, Crown prosecutor. Yeah. Huh, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Not gonna find him, he's long gone. I can touch. Dude, is he gonna be back in there? Next level, what? Yo, twin brother, calling again, uh, calling the shot like uh, 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 like Sean 2.0, twin brother, boom. Isn't this a wonderful thing? Not a single soul in this prison has any clue on what we've done. Wait, what we've done? Hold up, let's rewind that shit, yeah. I can't believe you killed a guy. I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh man, does he even know? I didn't kill Oh, anyone. what? Yeah, then why did they find your signature cigarette in the house? Why did they find your fingerprints? Somebody came in and planted those things after I stole the art. Surely you can see that. Nope. 
No. <laughs> yeah, Gus like, I'm walking the fuck out. I love that dude, yeah. Get, I've never seen Gus get out of there like faster than ever, man. What are you doing in Canada? I should be asking you two the same question. I'm here to extradite Despero back to the States. Not going anywhere now. Not until they eliminate him as a murder suspect mm. first, which makes no sense. I thought she was in Fr Napa. You you were oh shit! Is that mean if she's here? Off to Italy with Declan and get all caught up in the magic that's Barcelona and the running of the bulls. You do know where Italy. Oh yeah. Oh wait. I, why was I saying France? <laughs> oh okay. Cool. <laughs> Sean not like here, or guys like really Later. fucking? Are you yes, kidding me? Later. Right here. Oh yeah. Very dude. What in an inopportune time to like talk about this whole thing. I was gonna say, is Declan here though? If she's here. Welcome to the Gordon Mark Hotel. We need help. Look at this fucking guy. It's called a tip, Gus. Canadian coin. The dollars here are coins. It was a York peppermint patty. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense, Gus. Think about it. Despero is a perfectionist. Look at his nails. Plus, I don't ever remember him killing people, though, in the past, right? I always know he threatened him. They're coming for us. Why are they Not surrounding their car? One of the visitors at the prison saw him get in the back of your trunk. Oh, shit. Yo, what about the homeboy with the peppermint? Where, is he back there right now? Oh! No way. Yo, take your peppermint back though, or unless he took his peppermint. That, that yo. Help! I'm just gonna grab this peppermint pack. Yeah, there. You go. <laughs> yo, priorities, man. You know you got, you gotta have them. How is he doing this, man? Th this guy is getting better every second of the way, man. Ooh, there you go. Door cracked ajar. Spider sense is tingling. What? Oh shit! He's in. <laughs> Despero, what are you doing here? Same thing you're doing here. Mm -mm. Trying to prove me innocent. Well, my plan was to do the job and then sneak back into prison. But when you told me about the okay. body and the fingerprints, and I had to break out again. I had to see what they did to set me up. My man goes for the two for deal of breaking out of prison, man. It's like buy one, get one free. And he's just like, I gotta, I gotta clear my name. This is actually kind of an interesting turn of events because beforehand it was just like Despero trying to um, be like the world's greatest thief, but has now evolved into Despero, world's greatest thief, now trying to actually clear his name because he doesn't want like this whole situation to taint his good reputation. <laughs> This is uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like these guys have little interaction. He's like, I guess we're here now. Hello, I'm Sean Spencer's psychic detective. This is Big Apple Macintosh and my partner, Yasmin Bleeth. <laughs> yeah. Yasmin Bleeth. She was from uh, Baywatch, right? He never understood the threats. That Shield curries. So couriers. What was the safe? Money? Like cassette tape? What was missing from the safe? Nothing. Hmm. Interesting, yeah. Lying about it. He's being extradited tomorrow, so that's perfect. Job turns out to be a setup. They use it to kill someone. Despero finds out. Of course, he needs to escape again. And he's in the room, probably. I knew you'd come around, Sean. Homeboy buys your rental, buys the room, and like you just keep going back to these places that he's already bought for you. Ah, there you are. What? Did he rent a prostitute? Who the hell is this? I met her in prison. Whoa, okay. Yeah, well. Thanks for bringing XCon into the. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. All right. Well, big gulps, huh? What exactly went on in here? More importantly, do I need to get a new room and or sheets? If you were, to, if I was younger and like someone like banged in that hotel room, I'd be like, cool, whatever. It's like now as an adult, I'm like, I don't need the the aroma. <laughs> Especially if it's like the same room I'm staying in. I don't need the aroma. Even if it's a double bed or there's two beds in it, I don't need the aroma in there of it. I want to hire you. Whoa. To prove my innocence. Okay. You can't hire us. We're trying to capture you. Oh, fair enough. You <laughs> yeah. If you think you can, whatever. Sure. Oh, uh, this is probably Jewel. Hey. Can I come in? Why? Why? Oh. Um, kind of made a big deal about us talking. Oh no. Do you have a girl in there? Oh no. There's no one. I'm just, just, I'm alone in here. Just say Gus is here. It's a, we're, we're working some stuff out. If you can't say what's on your mind, then I will say what's on mine. Oh shit. I broke up with Declan. Oh shit. Why would uh, you do that? But that is, oh, dude, Sean, dude, I can't, I can't watch this right now. <laughs> Sean, you're floundering, man. Sean, you, you guys, do you ever sometimes watch like really cringy things on like, 
like YouTube and stuff and like you gotta like pause it before it happens. Like this is like the same feeling that Sean is giving me. I will be utterly transparent. Who works <laughs> the job? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, at least he's being straight. No, 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 matchmaker as in middleman. He puts a client and a criminal together. Oh. He offered me the job in prison and told me that it had to happen instantly. Where do we find him? Oh, oh, man, he uncrossed his legs with such ferocity. And don't have sex in our <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I probably will. Dude, oh, Sean, you just, you just gave it all up. Guess. This is Detective Breitling's computer. The poor guy just died. Can you get us an address for a Martin Sewell? No, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. I think it's gonna take a lot more to get rid of Sean. Hello, Martin. Excuse me, Jeff. What, um, yeah, we should probably be in there with you. Do you hear screaming? No. Also, is that just the room 712 or is that implying it's seven through 12? Whoa. Uh, Jesus. Whoa. Let him go. That's the plan. He doesn't tell me who hired him for the job. Oh man, dude, my man's got some great upper body strength just holding him over the edge like that. It was Crosley. Oops. Crosley? He was somewhat of a big crime lord up here. I was in prison with him for a while. I was kind of having an affair with his wife. Oh shit, uh-oh. Wait, does that mean it's her then? Ooh, dude, it was her. You were smooching with her brother. Frank Crosley. <clears throat> was the most feared man in our prison. He managed to run his whole empire from inside without missing a beat. He even had a man killed in Toronto in an hour. Oh. From the exercise room. From the exercise room. Damn, we on the run now, boys. Oh, did Macintosh give us up? Pierre, they have us surrounded. You gotta trust me. Give yourself up and I will solve this case for you. Have you ever seen those Batman movies? Oh shit, is this a grappling? Dude, that is so badass, man. My guy. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's a Mallrats reference or not. <laughs> Name's Frank. Frank Crosley. Oh, this meeting's over. I'm oh, get regulated, bitch. <laughs> you know that clearly we believe mm. Frank Crosley killed Breitling. Wow, I was really moving in a different direction. <laughs> It was hidden in Detective Breitling's house. Crosley guilt, Crosley innocent. Crosley's innocent. Hmm. Sean, you've got to stop hiding things from us. This is very serious. No, those things are in our safety deposit box. This was just work documents. What? Can we go back to Breitling's desk? Yeah, what is he? What did he steal? Unless he faked his own death. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere now. The connection is being made. Yep, cassette tape. Yeah, there you go. Mini mini cassette. Here we go, boys. Who can it be now? I can see it all now. Dangerous information. So huge. He thought it could be the end of him. Okay. He sent a copy to the Crown Prosecutor, fearful. Oh, there you go. Something terrible did happen to both of them. One was set up to look like an accident at Brightling's fishing cabin. The other, an art theft. Yeah, but then why blame uh, uh, um, Pierre this entire time? Bordeaux or Disparu? Give me the binoculars. Oh no, the binoculars. oh my god. Crosley set up the guy who was banging his wife. Pierre Despero. Is this how? Oh, that's what, yeah, that's right, that's right. He planted Despero's fingerprints and his- I love how this whole, this whole play, our thing is taking place while he's being chased around by Macintosh. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Oh, that, that will ruin his weekend. We are not accessories to two murders, two prison escapes, and helping him dangle a guy for building. No oh, she just pops up in the backseat again. <laughs> He's in the car, isn't he? Oh, wait, it, am I right? No, there's no way. Nope. The gas tank. The gas <laughs> no stone I mean, just squeezes him in there. Oh, there he is. Afraid that won't be necessary. In the car. Oh! I came things out with Frank. I found him dead. Valeria. Oh, damn. It, oh, shit. She's got a little four shooter. Yo, those guns are badass, man. Whole empire from inside without missing a beat. That's how Frank Crosley could run his empire from behind bars. He didn't. It was her the whole time. Yeah. Wow. The information that Breitling had on Crosley, which is not Frank Crosley. 
Mama Crosley, dude. In the midst of all this mess, your poor unfortunate husband had to end the trail. Poor unfortunate soul. Man just got walloped in the dome. You still had the perfect patsy running around. I mean that as a compliment. Thank you. Oh, shit! Yo, my man just shot a grappling hook at a woman, dude. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I, I would have thought that would act like a spear gun, right? I guess it like, <laughs> that shit looks so Oh, no one knows we're out here. I, I, I can't be the pawn. I really liked her. I was looking for love. Maybe you need to take a chance. There you go. Listen to your advice. Any relationship is going to be a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. it took me four years to figure that out. Could you keep your voice down? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, can we not have a therapy session in the middle of this rundown house while a woman's chasing us with a gun? She'll kill you. No, 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 she'll kill you. She won't kill me. See, oh, Sean, yeah. You were right. Thanks, yeah. It is a leap of faith. Why do I feel like he is working with her, but it's like underground, undercover, you know? Darling, sweetheart, there are too many moving parts. I have you, you have me. <laughs> oh, sh oh. She got, dude, this woman not only got shot with a freaking grappling hook, but also just hit in the dome with a, with a log. Gus! And man, oh he's, <laughs> he's just running out. He's yeah, so yeah other way, other way. <laughs> yeah, where are you running to? <laughs> We're in the middle of the forest. Now, I want to pose a question to you, Sean, and I want you to consider it sincerely. Shoot, shoot. Lunch, Friday. My guy, already making moves, man. Them big money moves. Oh, here we go, man. Make these money moves, Sean. We just, we miss the moment. Some people just don't fit. Yeah, but those, those are Lego people. Just stop joking, man. Shut up and tell her. It's funny. It's always funny. Can we not do this right now? Oh, yeah. Just be serious, man. Can I just say what I, what I came here to say, please? I have a motorcycle. Yes. Okay. You do. All right. It is the purest form of freedom. You zip through traffic, you park anywhere. Oh, I see where this metaphor is going. Okay. Since I met you, oh. I've been thinking about getting a car. And you're not thinking something practical or God, no, I'm sensible. Not throwing in the towel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, he made the. Oh, there it is. Man, that feels so good, man. Let it just soak it in, man. He, woo! He like told her in the most Sean way that he could. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, you know you weren't. We never do this. Yeah. Well, once we did it. Well, I mean, not like this. This is an escalation of yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, this is like four years of build up here. They did it. They. Oh man, they're they're just all over. I like your pearls. You're very nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Dude, that's this is brilliant, man. It's like of course, yeah. It's what I was saying, man. 4 years of build up. The the juices are flowing. The cops are a knocking when you when the boat is a rocking, don't come a knocking, sir. I have a room. A really nice one. Yeah, but you don't want to go Oh, yeah, yeah I wouldn't want to go back in that room at all. <laughs> Not after uh Mr. Desparo. <gasps> Oh, man. Y'all, it finally happened, dude. I mean, it happened, but now it, like, actually happened, happened. I gotta say, man, that was, like, I was... I, I was uh, a little concerned about Sean there. Not really sure if he was gonna shoot his shot. Not really sure if he was gonna have the... Uh, the, the fortitude uh, uh, to, to escalate that situation. But my man, like I said, said it in the most Sean way possible. Like the comparative like analysis or the comparative angle between having a motorcycle, that freedom to go anywhere you want, weave in and out of traffic, do as you please versus having a car and kind of abiding by the rules and kind of having a seat for two. You got to love it. I love that they introduced uh, um, their romance into an episode that is a familiar episode, a familiar type in the sense of like Despero. Um, it kind of made the whole like there was a lot of just like different angles they could have went. Uh, obviously introducing the whole concept of like, you know, she got a, a, um, a boarding pass or a, not a boarding pass, a, um, a passport in the beginning, uh, uh, laid out these kind of like crumbs of 
uh, what's his name, Declan, going to be taking her to, uh, not France, Italy, there you go, Napa, and, uh, you know, the fact that she did show up there in Canada to uh, assist in the whole Despero case was, it, it was a good little curveball, you know, and then the fact that, like, they set it up where she came to the room during that whole time and he had Despero in there. <laughs> That's where I really, like, respect the show for doing it the way they did it, right? Where they basically were, like, five seasons in, now we're going to get these two together, but we're going to go ahead and kind of, like, give you a little, give you, put the little tip in of this relationship, so to speak, with the last ending of last episode, and then <clears throat> kind of tease you a little bit throughout this episode, but... I'm glad, man. I'm glad Sean did it. I'm glad. This is like a, a season of a, a lot of firsts now, if you really think about it, right? Where first season where Sean and his father have to work together now in a new job sense. And now it's going to be a first season. Jules and Sean are finally together. And how is that going to shape like their future together? How is that going to shape the future of like taking cases and <clears throat> working on cases together? Because like, I mean, you don't know, man. There might be some, like, shaky foundation there. Uh, uh, are they going to be mature about it all? Like, there's so many questions I have about this moving forward. Anyway, really, at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm so excited. My mouth is, like, I'm, like, all uh, uh, sore from uh, grinning because of uh, them finally getting together. At the end of the day, y'all, really, what more can we say here? I'm still just some Joe Schmo. And these are psych reactions. They did it. They did it. Until next time, y'all. Peace out as I spit all over this camera.